3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. Hey everybody, welcome to the Daily Muddy. It's time for Coffee Coffee Talk. Talk. And of course, it's Britt B and Ashley. What's up, Britt B? Oh, not much. How are you? Fantastic. Uh, I feel like normally we do the second, but we got some good stuff to talk about. Yeah. Right? Adams County Fair is coming up. That's the big one. Yeah. Uh, I did talk to Melissa yesterday, Mm -hmm. and uh, I didn't know that she was like the first female board elected officer on that like the elected official on that, that is board. pretty cool yeah um and of course she always she's a wealth of knowledge she knows what she's talking about they got new bathrooms that's what i'm they most look, excited about i mean did you see how many people are excited about the bathrooms it doesn't take much guys it's all yeah. i'm saying yeah we, but that does make things. it just comfortable yeah. accommodating yeah no one yeah. wants to pee in a porter potty no also i mean the the other um the other bathrooms were okay, but I remember going out as a kid and using those mm. bathrooms. So it was time for a change, time for an upgrade. Um, speaking of memories, we had... We had a, a little contest yeah. on our social media. Um, it was for the tickets that Melissa gave us to give away yep. for the Diamond Rio and Sawyer Brown concert. Yeah, um, It's going to be a great concert. It is. The post wasn't the greatest post. Um, we had some... I guess you call them social media difficulties or technology. I don't know. Basically, I used the word giveaway. Yeah. And it became a bot infest. Yeah. So everyone that um, put their memories out there, we asked you to share your memories or your favorite fair feature. And so I want to thank everyone for doing that. I didn't get to keep the post up. I had to keep taking it down because yeah. of the bots. The damn bots. The damn bots. But we got it under control, and um, we did not give in to the internet terrorists. Woo-hoo. I'm currently on uh, a probationary period. Yeah, you're on hiatus. Yeah, because of that, but it's it's taken care of. It's kind of different how, um, yeah, just Facebook punishes you. You don't get a notification. It's you don't weird. get anything. I had to like go to someone and ask, what is happening? And yeah. he helped me all out and I got it like I said, I got it sorted out. It's great. It's but a little creepy. It's a little unnerving, but I'm glad you got it situated yeah. without getting like banned or deleted because that's happened before too. So, yeah. Yeah. That's kind of scary. Yeah. Cause then it's like all all that for naught. Mm-hmm. Right. I mean, yeah. I know it's just social media, but it's still that's where a lot of people get their information. Was, yes. And so, I was telling Bob, you know, it's like I'm so upset and it's like, yes, I understand it's first world pro- problems, but it's yeah. my job and Yes, it's your job, but it also, I mean, fortunately, unfortunately becomes part of kind of who you are, your personality, yeah. how you get your um yeah, you get your opinion out there. Other people get to share their opinions with you. The Good, bad, or one, ugly. Yeah. The right? biggest one right now is not being able to like like things. Yeah. And you do that just a bit, you know, without even yeah. thinking about it. Are you still clicking even though yes, you know you can't? And it goes back and I'm like, <laughs> oh my oh, dang God. It. So That's funny. I mean not funny, but you know, it's no, just yeah. it's the way of the world and it's wild when um such a seemingly minor inconvenience can take such a toll on your daily yeah. routines. So I'll never use the word giveaway again, but I will hear we're giving this away. Yeah. Um, some of the great uh, comments. I want to yeah. read Let's them off. Them. Yeah. And then I'm going to put you on the spot and you have to choose the winner. Sweet. You know how I like that. No, <laughs> seriously. I know. I, so I haven't heard any of these. I don't know who, who submitted no, what. No, because so, I just had to like screenshot, collect, screenshot, collect. Yeah. And okay, cool. so this is kind of on me, but it's going to ultimately be on you. All right. All right. Here we go. So the first one, the fair brings together the best of both worlds. It's a place where you can enjoy the excitement of the rides and concerts while also experiencing the joy of seeing children appreciate the simple pleasures in life, like the farm animals and a cold glass of lemonade. It's a time to create new memories and reconnect with old friends. True. Okay, another one. I got to touch Brad Paisley's boot one year when he performed. Then he got really famous. It's my peak celebrity moment. Sweet. That sounds like one of my celebrity moments. Um, watching Sawyer Brown 31 years ago at the fair. Wow. I was like, is that a, is that true? Was he well, there 31 I, years ago? Yeah, I'm like, I, I don't know. So. I'm not even going to fact check it. That's awesome. Hey, I mean, cool. Bob's shaking his head yes, so he knows more than we do from 31 years ago. <laughs> 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 yeah. I just got the middle finger. Uh, but, okay. Okay, we got engaged at the 
Adams County Fair. Oh, Heart fun. emoji. That one got a lot of likes. That's fun. Okay. I can remember being really poor as a kid, and my dad loaded us all up in the car once to go to the Adams County Fair. It was the best day. I remember riding in the back window of the old Ford car. That should tell you my age. LOL. Also of note, I have never been to a real concert. Oh. So, okay, those were the five entries that I got to keep screenshot that I thought, you know, were of note. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you anybody's names since you know everyone and you also are cousins with everyone. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah. So um, um, I'm not going to. So yeah. before I kind of give my opinion, I want to touch on just a few of these because I went to my first concert, one of my first concerts at the Adams County Fair and it was Joe Nichols and I went with uh, my best friend and we got a guitar pick. So I can appreciate um, the concert going mm-hmm. aspect of it because we do get some really big names to come to Adams County, which thank you, Adams County uh, Fair Board. Yeah. I think it's just incredible that we get we get to have access to that kind of stuff at, you know, a, a smaller county fair. Yeah. Um, also, the engagement thing, I need more information on how this happened because was, was it like on a Ferris wheel? I don't know. Was it like with a corn dog? All good all good answers, but I just kind of, yeah, I would want more information. And I do agree with the, the first one that it does bring together kind of the simpler um, – Simpler aspects in life. I, I do love going to see the farm. We got to go out and check out like the bunnies and hear about, and the horses and the cows and hear things that we didn't necessarily know. I mean, I yeah. learned Plus, a it's lot. it's animals. It's animals. God love them. And then, uh, you know, rides, of course, and we take our kids and it is just a family tradition. So I agree with all of them. I will say that, um, you know, being raised with not a ton of money myself, I know that the fair was one thing that my family got to do, um, maybe not even every year, but we did get to go and enjoy um, things that we didn't normally get to, cotton candy, you know, mm-hmm. stuff like that. Um, and I'm not saying I wasn't spoiled. I was spoiled by by every stretch of the imagination, but sometimes the fair was one of the things that we had to budget for, mm-hmm. we had to plan for, right? Um so I can definitely appreciate that. I also love the fact that she mentioned writing in the, the back window. That's something my mom would have done, I think. And then also, um, when I got older, we actually used to put people in the trunk. Don't I do not recommend that. Like our friends, we used to put because it was by pay by the carload. So don't do that. That's not a that's not a tip because I don't think it's by the carload anymore. But uh, yeah, we used to pack as many people as we could. So I kind of relate to that one too. But I will say uh, that one's probably my favorite. Also, who doesn't want to give this this person an opportunity to go to their first concert? Oh yes, right. I think that's. The best pick, too. Yeah. All right. So that Diamond, is Diamond Rio and Sawyer Brown. Mm-hmm. Who's going? It's Velvet Darnell. Velvet Darnell. Great name. I know, Velvet. right? Velvet. Okay. Well, congratulations, Velvet. Um, you know, hopefully you get to go and relive some of those childhood memories and also enjoy your first concert. So congratulations to Velvet Darnell. Yes. Yay. Please take a picture. Yes, please. And, and send it to us. We'd love to see. Um, we'd love to see. A selfie you know, at the concert. Yeah. And get to get to share a little bit in your experience. So yeah. congratulations. I love that you did that. I love that Muddy River we, News. We managed you know, to get it, it done there. even without the, you know, with the even internet. With the bots. Yeah. And thank you uh, to the Adams County Fair Board for donating the tickets yes Uh, again very 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 kind of you and we hope velvet enjoys her time and thank you for the rest of all the entries uh again all great stuff all relatable and yeah i love that everybody engages in our con in our contest yes it's it's awesome which contest will be what you use from now on right now yes yeah Yeah. cool okay so um memories what are your memories from the oh my memories I have one that stands out and it's oh not the best one that I should probably share, but I'll share it. Yeah, um, do it. I just shared, you know, putting people in the trunk to get in cheap. I still, I think I beat you. <laughs> okay. okay, good, good. <laughs> I had never been to the fair before. My parents were out of town in Alaska and they left me with the babysitter. It was the coolest babysitter. Um, I'm going to throw out who the babysitter was. Do it. Let's shout it out. Mary Griffith. Oh, Mary. She was Aunt Pinky for me. Um, and she let the leash be really, really long. So I got to go to the Adams County Fair that year. Oh, my gosh. And uh, the f- yeah, I also tried alcohol for the first time. <gasps> Brittany Bull. I think I've heard this story before. So in a matter of... All the first. Mm-hmm. Um, I also managed to get in trouble that night too. Yeah, yep. now it was this was with the cops. Yeah. Well, my friend Ish. walked in and she fell on the hood of a cop car. Mm-hmm. 
And then I think... Never a good idea. No. Mm -mm. I would say I ran away, but I don't think I ran. Somebody maybe carried me or something. Well, I mean, after your first few sips of alcohol, you probably... Maybe you thought you were running. I I didn't know what... I was supposed to do when the drinking thing. Yeah, I don't know. It yeah. was I was drinking it. The, the first alcohol was vodka, and no one told me that you were supposed to mix vodka with Ooh, things. So darling. yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a rough one. I think but, we all um, go through that. But poor memory, dude. <laughs> Adams County Fair first drinks, first cop run in. Yeah, first. Uh, yeah. So I didn't get to go to the teen dance that mm. year because the babysitter grounded me. <laughs> Dang it! But good on the babysitter. I think you are yeah. that one. But yeah, I, we used to go to teen dances and talk about um, fun, but kind of frightening because there was always like, that one big fight that broke out, mm-hmm. right? So you were like, oh god. It was like a taste of your first time in the real world. It was adultish. Yeah, it was very adultish and. Um, yeah, I used to wear, you know, of course the shorts and the tank top and I thought I was, I thought I was the, the big dog, right? Only to be. And the hair twisted back. Oh, and- please. I had the bangs. I'm, I'm talking <laughs> like big O bangs. Uh, and then, you know, you couldn't go on the Ferris wheel because then your bangs would go down and then teen dance would be, <laughs> you're not looking your best for the old teen dance, but no, uh, lemonade shake up. So my favorite things now, lemonade shake ups. I love watching my kids ride the rides. I will ride a few, but after a couple I'm, of lemonade shake ups, yeah. it's kind of hard. Yep. Those milkshakes. Milkshakes, phenomenal. Uh, the milkshakes. Yeah. Um, the food, as much as I love the, you know, the trailers that come in with the vendors and stuff, I like the the wings that you know they bring in like the local vendors mm-hmm. i don't like the carnival vendors as much as no I like no the they local have vendors. so many good local vendors yeah. like right along the way uh, mm-hmm. all the churches that put together their meals yep. are so good yep um the one that's inside the um the building where you can kind of i don't remember what it is but uh some kind of america legion or something they yeah. have like the tenderloins and the maid rights and stuff it's always just really, really good food. Yeah, and then, come of course, hun- hungry. Yeah, right. And then um, all the live entertainment that they have. Do you, are you a demo derbier? Do you like? I've never been to one. Okay. Uh, they're really cool. So if you haven't been, I definitely recommend it. Uh, Will you, you take me this year? I should. The <laughs> smells, the the mud, the, um, the competition. It's like... It takes a little bit to get going, so you kind of have to be patient. But once it does, it's so fun. And then you're like, oh, you get that one car you're rooting for. It just it gets really exciting if you can't tell. Also, um, something I've never been to, the rodeo. Oh, yeah. Have you ever been to a rodeo? Nah, nope. Okay. Look at all the things I've not done. Right? So my niece's birthday is uh, the 25th, and I believe that's the start to the rodeo, which kind of carries into the next day. I think I want to take her so we can experience that together for the first time. Because she oh, was yeah. like, what even is that? I was like, I don't, I don't clue. I have no clue. But the cowboys are sure to be cute. Mm. Um, we love animals. And it's the fair. So even if we hate it, we can get up and yeah. skedaddle and go do something else. So. Yeah, there's lots to do. Are we going to get to go on a uh, field trip at all this, this time? I don't know. I don't Maybe know. we'll have to take it upon ourselves and go. And, Probably. Yeah. Snap our own selfies. Right. Yeah. Have a couple drinks. And, of course, they have the beer garden with the – uh, all the free entertainment, which is right, yeah, and the the, local that stuff. beer garden is just awesome. It's pretty it's, cool. Um, the boats that he made, uh, Ben Hesse made those. Yeah, um, he made those last year, I believe. They're I think tripled, like there's three or four now. So. Yeah, lots of cold beer, lots of cold beer, lots of great entertainment. Uh, of course, rides and great food, and it's local. Go support, mm-hmm. you know, so we can continue. I know this is the 82nd consecutive year. Uh, let's. Let's help them make it to 83 because that's one thing that's a tradition for so many people, uh, especially it sounds like Velvet. So hopefully yeah, hopefully we can continue it on. Uh, it's always a great time, even if it is kind of one of the first signs of the end of summer, which I'm not ready for. But it is what it is. Go out and enjoy, right? Yes. Okay, hopefully we'll be able to enjoy the uh, demo derby and maybe even the rodeo. Yeah. Right? Sounds good to me. Okay. It's a plan. Well, yeah. Before we wrap it up, let's say a huge thank you to EFB, uh, Electric Fountain Brewing. If you have not been, you are missing out. Go try anything there, really, but the Electric Larry. You will not be sorry. And congratulations to them as well. They're celebrating their 10-year anniversary. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Well, congrats. Uh, that is exciting. So, yeah. Thank you again for your sponsorship. Congratulations. And thank you to everybody for watching. Go check out the Adams County Fair. Maybe you'll see Britt and I there. Maybe we will or won't be, uh, you know, I- involved in the rodeo. <laughs> Who knows? Well, either way, that does it for today's Coffee, Coffee Talk. Talk. Coming up next, I sit down with Tim Davis, newly appointed to the Quincy School Board. Stay tuned.
Instant Replay is your local sports bar. With 18 big screen TVs, we have all the sports packages from college games to pro games. We offer daily drink specials and come check out the bullpen, our newly renovated beer garden. Instant Replay, 2739 Chestnut in Quincy. The Liquor Booth is your home for a huge selection of beer, wine, and spirits. The Liquor Booth has two locations in Quincy, 3520 Broadway and 1500 North 12th Street. The Liquor Booth, where it's always happy hour. Welcome to the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. With six big screens, a new larger kitchen, and now more seating capacity, the Abbey is the place to be before, during, and after the big game. Come enjoy fan favorite Abbey Tizers, steaks, burgers, and a variety of daily food and drink specials. Can't join us? Carry out is available too. Now with a convenient drive up window to better serve you. 1736 Spring in Quincy. Opens at 3 p.m. Tuesday through Sunday. Come join all your friends at the Abbey, a Quincy tradition. Kelly's has been a fun place to eat and drink in Quincy since 1982. A fun and friendly atmosphere, food with flavor, homemade cinnamon rolls, and famous cheese soup. The best menu in town. Kelly's 2902 Broadway, Quincy. Are you looking for the perfect venue for your next special event? Check out Utopia Event Center. Utopia has a large banquet room and an awesome bar area, perfect for anything from birthday parties to formal corporate meetings. It also offers a photo booth, stage for a DJ or a live band, and a fully stocked bar, all for only $300. Check us out at utopiaeventcenter.com or call Barn at 217-430-6559 for more information. Utopia Event Center, 900 North 12th Street in Quincy. The Tower, a great place to meet and eat. But did you know the Tower has one of the finest drink selections in our area? Along with its incredible Mexican menu, the Tower specializes in tequilas for every taste. Names like Patron, Cabo Wabo, and Hornitos. And don't forget the margaritas. On Mondays and Tuesdays, stop by and pick up a single topping pizza and get Tower margaritas to go. Enjoy the Tower at home or in our dining room, bar area, or the Tower's signature climate-controlled porch. The Tower Pizza and Mexican in Quincy. And welcome back. Joining me now, Tim Davis. Tim, welcome to Muddy River News. Thank you very much. Absolutely. So uh, you are, I was looking at your resume. Um, just to start, though, you are the newly appointed uh, member of the Quincy School Board. Is that yes, right? Absolutely. Congratulations. Yeah, thank you very much. Uh-huh. We'll get to that uh, in just a second. But I was looking at your resume, and wow, it is impressive. Um so you are currently uh, not only newly appointed to the school board, but you are the director of operations at Titan, which is no small task in and of itself, right? That's challenging every yeah, day. Yeah, right? <laughs> Especially in this environment, I can only imagine, uh, I used to work in kind of the manufacturing world. The It's a lot of, it's a lot, right? right? You got yeah. lead times and prices. It's and fun. Custody. It is cool. Keeps I'm, you busy. <laughs> yeah. And looking at the rest of your resume, so you were also in the service, so you are up for a challenge. Right. right. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So uh, congratulations on um, your appointment. Congratulations on uh, it seems like a very uh, kind of you, you followed the path of leadership throughout. I mean, there's a common theme, right? Right. Yeah. Which is really cool. What um, what area did you serve in in the service? In the what, Army. Were you in the I Army? In the Army. I enlisted first for a few years just to get my, uh, my college loans paid off. Yeah. I fell in love with it. And did it for 20 years and became an officer. I went to officer candidate school, so I wow. kind of, it was fun. It was a great time. Uh, my body's paying for it now. Yeah, but right. Besides that, yeah. Yeah, but I'm sure you learned a lot of skills that now you're applying to everything. Um, and, you know, the, the leadership uh, that you no doubt, you know, kind of honed there is going to carry well into um, the school board and your involvement there. Uh, so let me say thank you for your service. Oh, I don't know. I think I said you. congratulations Appreciate on your appointment, it. but thank you for your service. My honor. I love uh, you. So you are a Quincy Quincy fellow, right? Yep, through I grew and through. Up here. Yep, absolutely. Yeah, grew up here, graduated from QHS. So um, yeah, it's fitting. It's very nice to be back home. Yes, absolutely. Excellent. So how did you how did you get involved or engaged with the the school board position? I saw the. Uh, the notification that Saeed was resigning and I graduated with him. Yeah. And uh, just, I've been wanting to try to find a way to get back into education in some capacity. I have a teaching degree, but um, just the Titan uh, position kind of opened up and was a great opportunity. So um, the school board seemed like another capacity to be able to help yeah. improve and, and make a positive impact. Excellent. So. Yeah, I feel like... Uh, I don't know you personally, but I feel like looking at your resume and, you know, just hearing you speak, it, it is going to be a very, a very good fit. Uh, 
I think, you know, probably one question that everybody would ask is, you know, why? What's kind of the, the reason behind it? I mean, we all see that, you know, every, it seems like every committee, every board kind of seems like they're under fire for one thing or another. So why right. would you step into it? I mean, it's, for me, it's just trying to do the right thing. Yeah. So those things that, that are difficult and meaningful and mean something, um, they're, that's going to happen. But yeah. um, just going at my job or in the military, you know, going the, the right way versus the easy wrong, just the yeah, that's what I've tried to do my whole life, and that's what I'm trying to do on the school board and yeah. try to make a difference. And it seems like we have a good school board. Everyone gets along. We're going in the right direction, so I'm just trying to hope to continue that moving yeah. forward. Fit in. Yeah, fit in and uh, also bring some balance to it because I know, you know, with the – with you know, the skills that you no doubt learned in the army and uh, through leadership positions in, you know, corporate world, you're going to have, uh, you're going to have opinions, which is right. a good thing, right? Absolutely. Because you can all get along, but there has to be some balance there. Um, and I think there are some pretty big, um, I don't want to say issues, but there are opportunities. Right. And you're probably aware of them. I mean, one of the most recent ones um, Reverend Carl Terry brought up was reading proficiency. And we don't have to hound on this because I know it's it's big in uh, it's big in the news right now. But I know that there's a lot of things, you know, in the inner workings with it. Uh, but any plans or any ideas on how to even tackle that? I mean, obviously, from the school board perspective, we're just implementing the policy and then the administrators will execute it, but it's it's going to be a holistic approach, in my personal opinion. Sure. I'm um, having been on the board for five seconds. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I really put you. I'm putting you under the gun. I'm so sorry. But, but I mean, I, I really think it's going to take community involvement. It's going to take the district, teachers, administrators. It's going to take um, really nonprofits and even the parents. You know, yeah. it's it's easy for us to to get in there and, and and let our kids just get on the TV right away. But yeah. Maybe we need to, to focus on you know thirty minutes of reading before you can right. get on electronics and all. And we I do that as a parent. I have four kids. Yeah. And at times I, I do that too. So yeah. I think we can all improve holistically at all those different um, avenues. I agree. I agree. Yeah. When I was talking to uh, the Reverend, I said you know a lot of it starts at home, and I know that I have some work that I could do to help as well. I know sometimes it's easy to point fingers at um, you know schools or teachers. I you know, wholeheartedly have faith in our educators and the people who are, you know, doing the dirty work with our kids, trying to get them to not only do the work, but to actually kind of fall in love with it so that it's easier for them to teach. Uh, but I do think a lot of that starts from home. I also think curriculum. Uh, so yeah, when you're talking holistically, I think that's, I think that's definitely necessary and probably the only way that right. it will get, uh, that you'll be able to move the needle. Um, but yeah, I think, I think it's going to be interesting to see how this, this, the school board handles some of this stuff, uh, you now included. And again, I'm sorry for putting no, you under the good. gun. I know. So when did you get appointed? Uh, last Wednesday. Last so Wednesday. So I really six just, days yeah, I really just threw days. you under. <laughs> sorry. <laughs> but no, I do think you have a great board. Uh, you have a great team. Um, I have no doubt you'll fit in perfectly. Uh, so you were appointed. Uh, so that basically means you run then for election when? Yeah, I'll just serve the rest of Saeed's term. Okay. And next April, I'll be on the... Okay. The ballot to hopefully be elected. Yeah, but, there you go. Yeah, so. Well, uh, yeah, I have no doubt that you're going to do uh, great things. I'm excited to see what it holds for you, and hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully you feel like you're making a difference. I feel like that's yeah, probably so. the... Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. Tim Davis, it was uh, so great to meet you. I wish you nothing but great luck. Also, uh, worth noting... Tim brought me a gift, so I always say you don't have to, but some of my favorite guests do. So, Tim, thank you so much. Uh, <laughs> good you. luck, and thank you again for for stepping up and, and throwing your hat in the ring. I really Thanks appreciate, it. I appreciate Absolutely. it. Absolutely. All right. I think that does it for today's Daily Muddy. We'll catch you back here tomorrow for more.